I'll start with my usual question though. Ray. Your, your thoughts on the game? Disappointed to come away having gotten beat. Um, both teams, you could see how physically tired they were towards the end of the game and we, we just didn't quite have it in our legs and to concede that set piece is, is disappointing. Um, I was actually pleased with our structure and our attitude. Um, we, we have to improve in possession and um, we got in some really good positions but maybe we didn't quite have it in our legs and our bodies to, to use that ball better in the final third today. How big a factor was that? You know, I mean, normally this would be truer away or something like that, wouldn't it, right at the start of the season? How difficult was it for the players actually when it pushed come to shove to just to, just to get out there and get involved again? Well, it's difficult. I think you could see um, both teams were going at it, um, but both teams didn't quite have it in their bodies or their, not, not, not in terms of ability, but didn't quite have it in their legs when they won the ball back. Um, it was probably a game a little bit short of quality in attacking areas, um, but two honest teams and two very well organised teams defensively. And we just needed more. We got, we got the positions, we got the opportunities to use the ball. Um, we just weren't quite slick enough or, or good enough in possession. Um, our attacking players worked the stocks off, but very rarely were they able to, able to beat a Colchester player today. Yeah, I thought you just about edged the second half. Is that your feeling? Well, yes, in terms of using a on the ball, but not in terms of using the ball. We didn't create enough. Um, we got, like I say, in some really good positions, but I, I can't berate the players too much off the back of that. That's, that's always the last thing to come when, you, when you're building a team back from, from a, a, a big break, um, their use of the ball. And because they're so physically tired, you could see at the end, it, we started making some poor decisions. Um, we certainly were in the game for the majority of that, which gives us great confidence for, for Monday. Um, and it's such a, a tight margin. We would have just liked to come away elsewhere. I mean, obviously, it's the strangest of circumstances we knew it was going to be. Was there anything that particularly surprised you about today, about this afternoon? Not really. We, we, we had half an idea to what to expect. Obviously, the practice match at the park um, last week sort of prepared, for that, prepared us for that. Um, just disappointing to concede that, that, that set piece. And um, we've got to deal with that moment better. And if we don't have to concede the free kick, we've got to work our feet. And it was almost tired bodies and tired minds towards the end. Um, but there's enough quality within our group to, to play better in possession. And if we are better on, on Monday, then we'll hopefully create some opportunities. How difficult was it to decide what changes to make and when? I mean, was it any more difficult than it normally is in a normal when you've got the three? Really, obviously, Lee Martin's picked up a, an injury, so that was enforced. Um, Nicky was on the booking, and, and he, physically, it's a difficult, um, difficult game for Nicky. He was never going to play the 90 minutes. Uh, and then I think you could all see we're getting tired down our, our left side in terms of Dino's experience, um, but also Jack's. Uh, inexperienced to a certain extent and we were just tiring down that side and we felt we needed to strengthen that. Um, look, it's not ideal because it looks like we'll lose Lee for, Lee for Monday night um, and that's a, an influential player within the group. But we've got to dust ourselves down. But the lads who played 90 minutes, full credit to them. Um, but they've got, are going to be asked to do that again on Monday night and we've got to be a little bit more aggressive with our play um, and test the opposition back for and goalkeeper a little bit more than we did tonight. I know this is the only time we're going to get to speak to you before Monday. Uh, you hinted before this game that you might well have to make changes anyway. And presume that's going to be a case now of assessing exactly where everybody is over the next couple of days, is it? Yeah, without a shadow of a doubt. And you, you look at the ones who, who played 90 minutes and they'll be at a physical low. But the ones who were, who were taken off, the majority were cramping up anyway. So um, it's not as if we could protect many players tonight. Um, but we, we've got to have a freshness about us Monday night. We're also at home. And we look forward to playing home. There'll be a few, a few more people feeling a bit more comfortable about the fixture then, than obviously the travelling and you know, not the inconvenience, but everything that was involved in the last 24 hours. Um, and we've got to look forward to it. We, we were well in this tie. Um, look, to come away with a, a draw would have been probably a, a fair result from our point of view. Um, but we can't be negative going into Monday night. And you said before the game, didn't you, the most important thing was to still be in the tie. And you're very much that, if nothing else. Yeah, and in terms of the performances of both teams, I don't think there's too much between those teams. Um, Colchester had a bit more know-how in terms of a bit more nous in that attacking third and, and, and just gained more pressure than we did. We, we had moments in the attacking third, um, but they weren't sustained. Um, when we're at home, we need to sustain those attacks. And that will take more pre uh, less pressure off the lads physically. Um, and then they're hopefully, like I keep saying, they'll make better decisions and move that ball better than they did tonight. And you hinted at it a little bit earlier, but I mean, obviously now you get to sleep easy in your beds for the next few nights, whereas they've got to come down here, they've got to jump through all the hoops that all your guys have done. How big a factor will that be come Monday night, do you think? I mean, we, we can talk about it, but they're still excuses. They, they don't make, make you a, a poor player on the ball. I'm not saying we were poor players on the ball tonight, but we can use the ball better than we, what we showed. Um, the fact that we'll get home late tonight isn't ideal because obviously there'll be a, um, a slightly different training time tomorrow and different training groups and we've got to have a recovery group. Um, and we'll do a little bit of work over the weekend. Um, but like I say, we've got to really go, to go into Monday, all guns blazing and attacking. Matt Taylor, thanks very much. Matt, how frustrating was it not to register a shot on target? It's always frustrating. Um, 
I can only give a team a certain amount of structure to get into the final third, and then it is down to the personnel. Um, we had enough ball in good areas, we just didn't quite use it. Um, maybe Randell didn't quite have the beating of, of, of both fullbacks tonight. Um, and in terms of our attacking players, we, they rarely found themselves in, in good positions of space where we could work the ball around them or beat them in a 1v1 position. It, it meant it, it put pressure on our delivery and our passing and our use of the ball, and that wasn't quite there tonight. Um, that's the way the game was. I can't remember Wardy having too many shots to save. Um, so that was the way the game was. Both the defensive seemed to be on top. And that generally happens in a, a first leg of a playoff. Like I say, the, the goal was such a, a poor goal from our point of view. And we've got to see that moment out better, not concede the free kick. And if we do concede the free kick, understand what's needed there. Um, and we just didn't feel they worked hard enough to score that goal. I wonder, what have you learned about yourself and about the team in you know, having such a little amount of preparation to go into such a game of such magnitude? Not, 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 nothing really that we didn't know already. Um, they're an honest bunch. I think you could see that was a two honest teams going at it tonight. Um, there were mistakes all over that pitch, um, but it wasn't certainly for the want of train. And we might be better off on, on Monday night on the back of that game in our legs um, because once you get that first one out of the way, you, you're certainly less rusty. Um, but it was a good enough surface. Um, we can't complain about the surface in terms of the way we used the ball. It just was sheerly down to probably fatigue and, and the way the mind was working. Um, We've got to move that ball with a little bit more purpose in that final third if we want to be successful. And that's what we've been working on. And we know it's slightly been our downfall when we've been relatively strong in our, our shape and organisation. We've got to threaten the opposition with the goal a bit more. And, and obviously there's been a lot of talk of, of, of the, the health and safety precautions in respect of COVID and that. But obviously that can't really prepare you for actually the game time situation and what you have to go through. How different was... You know, the preparation, changing rooms, getting the team together, your match day routine than what it would normally be like on a, on a normal day. It's different, but we, we certainly don't use that as a, an excuse in any way. Um, both teams started the game pretty well. Um, but there's, there's loads of different circumstances which we're, we're encountering, and, and Colchester will be the same when they we travel to ourselves. So that's part and parcel. When the referee blew the whistle, the ball's still around, the grass is still green, it's still the same size uh, football pitch. Like I say, I was relatively pleased with our performance out of possession, um, but I'll certainly be asking more from our, from our group of players in possession. I think we've got players, those who've watched us this season, we've got players who are capable of showing more than they did. So that's all I need. Any more questions from anyone? Yeah, Matt, it was uh, no Nicky Jose on the team sheet or on the bench tonight. Uh, was he injured? Is he available for the second leg? What's the situation there? Potentially, he picked up an ankle, uh, an ankle injury on our second day when we returned to trading and he missed the best part of 10 or 11 days. Um, and when you've only got two and a half, three weeks of clarity and when you miss a big chunk like that, you're never going to be fit for this one. So we'll assess him. Um, you have, we'll have to see how he works physically over the next couple of days. And if he's any sort of shape physically or mentally, then he'll get an opportunity. If he's too far off it, then he won't. Because we can't risk playing players who, who aren't fully fit, uh, I'm afraid. And we were even trying to bring players on who've missed big chunks of, of that three week time. So um, it's not ideal when you pick up a couple of niggles, but I'm sure cultures have been the same. Um, and that always happens in a, a compact training period.